Go ahead, Rose. Good morning. Good morning, Gary. Wonderful report. And uh, those members that are up in the Sierras, uh, if you'll give us uh, just a quick uh, uh, 10 or 15 seconds uh, review of the amount of snow, and we may want to take a quick pause to make sure we don't have any station in the Sierras uh, needing uh, traffic for the NIP. Go through the traffic. Have a good morning. This will be my early check-in if you don't mind. WB 6 10 away. Gary, back to you. Okay, Gary. Good morning. You and Susie. And, uh, yes, uh, this is WA6VES, and, uh, do we have any... This is a beat frequency oscillator, or BFO unit I made. It's a very simple circuit, using just one transistor. It allows you to listen to SSB or CW amateur radio communications with the ordinary shortwave radios. To receive the SSB or CW signals, just place output wire of the BFO unit near to the radio antenna. Let's take a closer look at this BFO unit. This is a schematic diagram of the BFO unit. It's very straightforward, using just one general purpose NPN transistor. I used 2N3904. It's variation of the Colpitz oscillator. I used a commonly available 455 kilohertz ceramic resonator. As you can see, it produces a 458 kilohertz sine wave when I hook up the oscilloscope. So, I adjusted C4 value to get a 455 kilohertz. Next, let's see how to build this BFO unit. The size of base is 5 by 3 and half inches. And, the front panel is 5 by 3 inches. I use a Manhattan style wiring. The potentiometer is for the future use. The frequency is controlled by the BFO pitch control on the front panel. I hope you will enjoy making this simple BFO unit 